Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. So, I just finished watching the Anthony Taylor vs. Tommy Fury bout. Mm. Well, it went to distance. Uh, the fight was, of course, was supposed to be a 10 round um, fight. However, it was cut short to a four-round fight, and uh, yeah. Just finishing right now, I have to say that um, Tommy Fury didn't really impress me. He couldn't stop uh, Anthony Taylor, who was already gassed. Yeah, Taylor was already gassed, starting from round two. You know, the second round, it was gassed as hell. It was there to be taken down, but Fury just was so scared. Tommy Fury was so scared to get hit by... Anthony Taylor, who of course is the smaller man, okay. Fury's reach is definitely far more uh, uh, longer. He's got a longer reach than Anthony Taylor, okay. Taylor is five seven. Fury is six feet tall, okay. I mean, the height difference, you know, the size, they're all was there you know to be seen and what was so funny is that Anton Taylor for you to even know how gassed Anton Taylor was in the third round he fell off you know he fell he just fell down and that was the right time Fury could have uh, at least taken him out but he couldn't or did he want to risk it because he was like kind of scared of getting hit and Listen, I will tell you right now, um, Tommy Fury throughout his career, he's fought guys that are, you know, he's been fighting, you know, gatekeepers, taxi drivers, you know, these washers. You know, look at the record, you can even tell and see, you know, it's just, he speaks for himself. However, Anthony Taylor was definitely uh, there to be taken out in run two. I mean, a boxer would have taken him out. I don't know. Uh, you know, we we heard that Fury, and Fury is still developing and all this kind of stuff. However, there's some sort of hype around them, and people tend to believe that he's going to be the next big thing, or it's going to be like Tyson Fury and all this kind of stuff. Tommy Fury does hit hard. At the same time, uh, Anthony Taylor was able to take his punch, and uh, his punch is like he, of course, he landed a couple of uh, right hands, you know, he landed some combinations, and when Anton Taylor wanted to get in, the Fury had to hold him, you know, and once, you can even tell that Anthony Taylor is not a boxer at all, like, his stance is very, like, very amateurish in a way, and uh, he, has, he has no business being in there with uh, Tommy Fury, you know, he has no business being in there with Fury. But however, he did manage to go the whole four rounds, you know, and still, despite being tired, being cast out, you know. And by the way, um, Tommy Fury was coached by Tyson Fury's uh, court man, you know, uh, Jorge Capetillo. Um, yeah, the corner of Tommy Fury was very good, you know, he gave Fury a very good ad advice, uh, telling him to keep his his distance you know keep the jab on taylor's face not allow not not to allow taylor to come in or get on the inside and all this kind of stuff and that really worked at the same time i don't know if um i'm impressed with it i mean i'm not really impressed with uh tommy fury's performance i mean he couldn't uh like stop this guy when he was there to be taken out you know run through it was taylor was so tired the fatigue was already playing in it playing in so, like, Fury Fury should have gotten him out of there. And look at how he fell right here. Uh, fell like it was that was, a, that was so funny when it, when it happened. So, uh, I mean, what can I say? Um, it's just what it is. This is my, my, this is my take on this fight. Um, congrats to Tommy Fury, though. Um, I mean, for another win over you know like uh, uh, uh like a non-boxer um i mean anthony taylor is an athlete no doubt about it okay no doubt about it you can tell that the guy trains very hard but he's not a boxer okay boxing is a different kind of sport and fury has just shown in this fight that 
he's still developing and he's not even close to the close to being the finished product yet okay this was a bad performance from him however i have to give him uh credit you know uh because uh, i liked what he some of the things he did he wasn't trying to rush or make it a brawling fight or kind of stuff he took his time he popped the jab out there and he kept he made sure that listen he utilized his uh, advantage uh, his rich advantage you know his boxing ring iq and uh that 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 did that, that, that did the job for him and then taylor had no business being there be taylor was too small okay uh can throw a punch can't even like try to like he was just trying to land on over right hand but in a very sloppy way he threw it in a very sloppy way and you can you can even see the, the over right hand coming from afar like coming from like he, he threw an over right hand that is coming from <laughs> from china i mean you can actually see it coming <laughs> so i know he of course um fought a little bit better in a way he fought good no no doubt however you can tell that he lacked the boxing skills he was boxing skill wasn't there and people are talking about yeah the possibility of a uh, fury fight and jake paul i don't think he is not the, the jake paul fight right now I mean, hey, I don't see him stopping Jake Paul. Like, I, mean, he's just, I don't see him stopping. If you cannot stop Anthony Taylor, a guy who was already done in round two, how do you stop Jake Paul? Who, like, we I might say Jake Paul is like the YouTubers kind of stuff. That guy does not know this boxing and he takes it serious. So, so, what do you guys think on this? Like the video, share, subscribe. And uh, you know what it is, you know how it is. God bless you all for supporting the channel. I actually appreciate you guys. Cheers, guys.